What exactly is Sea Monkey's Sea Medic, and how does it work? In this series, we're taking a look at every single Sea Monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real Sea Monkeys. This novelty pouch, which first made its debut in 1968, is designed for those pets who are doing a little poorly. When Sea Monkeys are unwell, it's usually most obvious by a significant slowing in the movement of their thoracopods or legs. So this stuff is supposed to help put a little vigour back in their step, or stroke. Again, Joel Lando's done a great job with the illustration. It shows a sick sea monkey resting in bed, with a doctor and nurse at his bedside taking his pulse. The bedside table appears to show a drink with a straw. Perhaps there's some sea medic mixed in there to help him get better. I'm not a huge fan of the colours Joe's chosen for this packet though. The purple, yellow and orange don't complement each other particularly well, and the empty white space on top feels a little soulless and sterile. Though perhaps this was intentional, to help communicate that uneasy and uncomfortable feeling that hospitals often seem to have. There was a nicer orange and pink print run of this packet at some point too, though that one doesn't appear to have been particularly common. Turning over to the back gives us some more detail about how this miracle powder is supposed to work. Sea Monkey Ambulance in a Bag Here's a Sea Monkey Doctor's Bag of Help to overcome any health crisis. Add one scoop of Sea Medic with the small end of the spoon. That's it. If your pet is not too far gone, this can save its life. But if it goes to Sea Monkey Heaven, please don't grieve for long. Your Sea Monkey life insurance policy is good for more. So, this isn't particularly satisfying because it doesn't really tell us too much. But the Yellow Sea Monkey Handbook from the 80s does give us a little bit more insight about it in its parts and supplies list. For Sea Medic, it says, a must for emergencies. If sickness strikes, Sea Medic is the only medicine available for sea monkeys. It kills oxygen depleting bacteria in their water without harming the sea monkeys. It can cure afflicted sea monkeys if given in time. Keeping Sea Medic on hand if needed in a hurry is almost as good as having a team of sea monkey doctors standing by in the ER. So, this stuff is supposed to prevent bacterial blooms from getting out of control in your tank and bring your sluggish sea monkeys back to life. I have no idea what's in here, so I'm interested to see how this one works. Okay, so the Sea Medic is definitely something a little different. Not a food pouch like the others, but rather almost entirely salts. My guess is that it's supposed to increase the tank's water salinity to hopefully make it inhospitable for any unwanted bacteria. Under the microscope, it looks quite similar to packet number two. There's a ton of salt crystals in here, and also some yellow granules, which I honestly can't identify. Unsurprisingly, there's sea monkey eggs in here too, and a lot of them. I guess this makes sense. If you're using Sea Medic, it probably means your sea monkey colony isn't doing great. So adding in a bunch of new babies is likely in part what you're looking for. To test out the Sea Medic, I've gone ahead and put a bunch of poorly looking sea monkeys into this 2018 ocean adventure tank. Just like these sea monkeys on the verge of death, this tank didn't have a particularly long commercial run. I'm going to feed these guys small amounts of Sea Medic over the next few days to see if we can bring them back to life. Hopefully they're not too far gone. I'll give you an update soon to see if anything has changed. Hey guys, how's it going? It's time now for the results from our Sea Medic Sea Monkey Medicine Experiment. Out of all of the packets in this series, this one has surprised me the most. We tested this out on some sickly looking sea monkeys in the ocean adventure tank to see if we could bring any of them back from the brink of demise. And believe it or not, it actually seems like this one has worked exactly how it said it would. Almost all of the sea monkeys are still alive and they're now swimming much better than before, indicating a vast improvement in their health. Unfortunately, one of the female sea monkeys has passed away though, with her body starting to turn black from decomposition. Perhaps her health was just a little too far gone. While this is always a little sad, seeing her under the microscope provides us with a different perspective. Her body is now supporting its own mini ecosystem of thousands of tiny ciliates who are slowly consuming her, energy transferring from her body to theirs. These thriving microorganisms are essential to the well-being of the colony and the aquarium as a whole. So even though it's sad, there's a poetic element to her passing. I've also noticed the presence of several new babies in this tank over the last couple of days, which is almost certainly from the eggs in the sea medic pouch. So now we have some healthy adults and a new generation of babies to care for, which completes the cycle of life.